Welcome, medical students, to today's lecture on the fascinating topic of nucleotide biosynthesis and signaling pathways. In this comprehensive script, we will delve into the intricate details of nucleotide metabolism, enzymatic regulation, receptor-dependent activation, second messenger functions, and their crosstalk with other signaling pathways. We will also explore the vital roles of nucleotides in chemosensation, olfaction, nitric oxide signaling, drug targets and therapeutics, disease associations, and regulatory mechanisms. So, let's embark on this exciting journey into the realm of biochemistry. Nucleotides serve as the building blocks of DNA and RNA, and their synthesis is a tightly regulated process in cells. The de novo synthesis of nucleotides involves a series of complex enzymatic reactions. Starting with simple precursors, such as amino acids, sugars, and carbon dioxide, the biosynthetic pathways form the purine and pyrimidine bases, ribose or deoxyribose sugar, and phosphate groups. Each step of this pathway is catalyzed by specific enzymes, and the regulation of these enzymes is crucial to maintaining the balanced production of nucleotides. Enzymes play a pivotal role in regulating nucleotide biosynthesis at various stages. For instance, the activity of the rate-limiting enzyme, phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate synthetase PRPP synthetase, governs the overall flux of nucleotide synthesis. Moreover, feedback inhibition mechanisms ensure that excess nucleotides do not accumulate. The end products of the pathway, purine and pyrimidine nucleotides, act as elasteric effectors to modulate the activity of key enzymes involved in their biosynthesis. Understanding these regulatory mechanisms is crucial for maintaining cellular homeostasis and preventing diseases associated with nucleotide imbalance. Nucleotide signaling pathways are tightly controlled by a myriad of cell surface receptors. Upon stimulation by extracellular signals, such as hormones or neurotransmitters, these receptors activate intracellular signaling cascades. The activation of G-protein-coupled receptors, GPCRs, or receptor tyrosine kinases, RTKs, leads to the activation of heterotrimeric G-proteins or tyrosine kinase cascades, respectively. The downstream effectors of these pathways, including adenyl cyclases, guanyl cyclases, and protein kinases, initiate a series of events that influence cellular responses. To maintain nucleotide balance, the degradation of nucleotides is an equally vital process. Nucleotide degradation pathways, such as purine salvage and pyrimidine catabolism, ensure the recycling of nucleotide components. In purine salvage, enzymes recover and convert purines back into nucleotide precursors. In pyrimidine catabolism, pyrimidine bases are broken down into smaller molecules, like beta-alanine and beta-aminoisobutyrate, which can be utilized in other metabolic pathways. Cyclic guanosine monophosphate, CGMP, and cyclic adenosine monophosphate, CAMP, serve as important second messengers in cellular signaling. They are synthesized by guanyl cyclases and adenyl cyclases, respectively, in response to various extracellular stimuli. These cyclic nucleotides bind to specific intracellular targets, such as protein kinases and ion channels, to mediate diverse cellular responses. Understanding their functions and regulation is essential for comprehending fundamental processes like cell proliferation, neurotransmission, and hormone signaling. Cyclic nucleotides, CGMP, and CAMP, function as critical mediators of intracellular signaling. They regulate the activity of various effector proteins and transcription factors, modulating gene expression, ion channel conductance, and enzyme activity. The downstream effects of CGMP and CAMP are highly context-dependent, and their specificity is achieved through differential expression and compartmentalization of receptors and effector proteins. Dysregulation of these pathways can lead to pathological conditions, such as hypertension, cardiac dysfunction, and cancer. Nucleotide signaling pathways often intersect with other signaling networks, allowing for intricate crosstalk and amplification of signals. For instance, the crosstalk between nucleotide signaling and the phosphoinositide 3 kinase, PIEK slash protein kinase B, ACT, pathway influences cell survival and metabolism. Similarly, the interaction between nucleotide signaling and the cyclic nucleotide gated ion channels affects sensory perception and neuronal signaling. Understanding these crosstalk mechanisms reveals the intricate web of signaling pathways that control cellular functions. Nitric oxide, NO, is a crucial signaling molecule involved in a wide array of physiological processes, including vasodilation, neurotransmission, and immune responses. NO activates soluble guanyl cyclus, leading to the production of CGMP, which subsequently initiates downstream signaling events. Dysregulation of NO signaling has been implicated in various diseases, such as cardiovascular disorders, neurodegenerative conditions, and inflammation. 
Thus, understanding the intricate mechanisms of no signaling provides potential therapeutic targets for these diseases. Nucleotide signaling pathways play a vital role in chemosensation and olfaction. In the olfactory system, nucleotides act as ligands for specific receptors expressed in olfactory sensory neurons. By activating these receptors, nucleotides contribute to odor perception and signal transduction. Moreover, nucleotides modulate taste perception by interacting with certain taste receptors. Unraveling these mechanisms enhances our understanding of sensory perception and may aid in the development of novel treatments for olfactory and taste-related disorders. Given the crucial role of nucleotide signaling pathways in various diseases, they have become attractive targets for therapeutic intervention. Several drugs targeting these pathways, such as phosphodiesterase inhibitors, have been successfully developed to treat conditions like erectile dysfunction and pulmonary hypertension. Additionally, Targeting enzymes involved in nucleotide biosynthesis or degradation holds promise for the treatment of cancer, cardiovascular diseases, and neurological disorders. Advancements in understanding the regulation of these pathways provide opportunities for the design of more effective and specific therapeutics. Numerous diseases are associated with dysregulated nucleotide signaling pathways. For example, aberrant activation of adenal cyclases or guanyl cyclases has been implicated in heart failure and vascular disorders. Similarly, Mutations in enzymes involved in nucleotide metabolism can lead to inherited metabolic diseases, including Leshnayan syndrome and immunodeficiencies. Additionally, altered nucleotide signaling pathways have been linked to cancer, neurodegenerative diseases, and psychiatric disorders. Elucidating these associations is vital for developing targeted therapeutic strategies and personalized medicine approaches. To maintain cellular homeostasis, nucleotide signaling pathways are subjected to a multitude of regulatory mechanisms. These mechanisms include feedback inhibition, post-translational modifications, subcellular localization, and protein-protein interactions. Furthermore, the transcriptional regulation of enzymes involved in nucleotide biosynthesis and degradation plays a pivotal role in maintaining nucleotide balance. Understanding these intricate regulatory mechanisms ensures the precise control of nucleotide metabolism and signaling. In conclusion, the comprehensive study of nucleotide biosynthesis and signaling pathways provides invaluable insights into fundamental cellular processes, disease mechanisms, and the development of novel therapeutics. From the intricacies of enzymatic regulation to the multifaceted crosstalk with other signaling networks, these pathways integrate and coordinate numerous cellular functions. As future medical professionals, a profound understanding of nucleotide metabolism and its implications will empower you to tackle diseases and contribute to advancements in medical research.